Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is another video on the step response of R6 circuit. And here I will be solving practice problem 7.10. So let me just uh, repeat a uh, time concept that I keep on discussing. Uh, look at this diagram. This is our T0 point. So anything before that will be called T less than 0. And in this portion, generally, this circuit is in steady state condition. Then immediately after 0, we have a transient period which either you can call T0 plus or you can call T greater than zero. This is transient period where uh, there is a capacitor that is charging or is discharging. And after five tau, the circuit becomes steady state. And this period will be called T greater greater than zero. Now, uh, this is the formula for uh, the output voltage at t greater than zero. And, uh, and this I have just copied from the book. If you want to really understand uh, the derivation of it, you have to go to the book. So, we'll just plug in the values here. And let's just see V0 is actually voltage across the capacitor at t less than zero. And V infinity is the voltage across the capacitor at T greater greater than zero. And the third element is tau, which we find when the circuit is in transient condition at T zero plus or T greater than zero. And I'll explain this with the help of a simple example. If this is the circuit, at T less than zero, the switch is open. And whatever voltage is across the capacitor, that will be called V0. So this will be our step number one in solving the problems. Next step is T greater than zero or T zero plus. The switch is closed, but the capacitor is not open circuit. It is in the transient condition. So from this circuit, we'll find the time constant tau. And the third stage, my third stage will be when the capacitor gets fully charged, it behaves like an open circuit now. And this is called T greater than zero. And now the capacitor voltage, which we get, is called V infinity. So with this knowledge now, let's solve the problem. This is the problem, this is the circuit given here. We have to find two elements, find Vt for T greater than zero. And also we have to calculate Vt at T is equal to zero five. So step number one, for T less than zero, we have to find V zero. So let's draw the circuit for T less than zero. So for T less than zero, this will be open circuit. This voltage will have no effect on the capacitor voltage because this is open, no current is flowing. So only this circuit remains. Let's redraw it. So this is the circuit. And when the capacitor gets fully charged, all this voltage will appear across the capacitor. And therefore, we can say that V0 is 15 volt. So V0 is 15 volt. That is our first answer. Step one, we go to step two. We have to find uh, the time constant for T0 plus or T greater than zero. So let's draw the circuit. Switch is now closed. The switch is closed. Capacitor is not open as yet. It is in the transient case. And we have to find R thevenin from the circuit. C is given. And I hope you recall that for finding R thevenin, we have to remove the source. So we short circuit the voltage source. So this becomes our circuit. And you can see these two resistances are in parallel. We may redraw like this. Solving these two in parallel, we get R thevenin or R equivalent. R thevenin is two parallel, six, three by two. So this is R thevenin. And uh, now we can find tau. The formula for tau, as we have said, is R thevenin C. 
7 we have known and C is 1 over 3 farad. So tau is 1 over 2 seconds. So this is the second step we have done. Coming on to the third, for t greater greater than 0, we have to find v infinity. So first let's move to t greater than 0 and just we have closed this switch. And then t greater greater than 0, what will happen? This capacitor will be open. So this is the circuit now for t greater greater than 0. And we have to find this voltage which is actually we are calling v infinity voltage. Now how to find this voltage? First of all, we, have, we can find the current through this mesh. So let's say this is the current I in the circuit. So by KVL, we can find current I. So let's write the KVL equation. Minus 15 plus 2I plus 6I minus 7.5. Solving, we get I is equal to 22.5 over 8. Now to find V or V naught, we will just use this left loop. You could also use right loop. You will get the same answer. The left loop will get minus 15 plus 2i and plus v. So plus v equals 0. Plugging in the value of i, solving, we get v is equal to 9.375. And this is our v infinity. So v infinity is 9.375. Now that we have got all the three parameters, we will just plug in the values in the equation that we have for t greater than 0. So this was the equation. Plugging in the values, we get this our final equation. Now we come to the another part of the second part of this question, which was to find Vt at t is equal to 0 0.5. So simply we have to put t is equal to 0 0.5 here. And putting in the value, we get this answer solving solving 11.4. And if you want, we can take help of the calculator from here. Uh, it has to be in the normal mode. So one is the composite mode on 9.375. 3.75 plus 5.625 multiplied by e raised to the power minus 1. You see this is here e. So then shift and then e put in the power minus 1 and head equal sign. 11.444. So this is the answer. And this is what is given in the book. Uh, the answer given in the fifth edition is wrong. It's 7 point something. But in the sixth edition, they have given the correct answer. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.